All right, so I finished all the signs um, for like a general reading for that. So I got um, my two new oracle cards that I got. I got the Energy Oracle and the Romance Angel Oracle. So I figured I'm just going to go ahead and do a oracle spread for both um, single, um, for the signs for single people and committed. So for those that are committed, I'm talking about people that are already married um, or have been in a long-term relationship. And then for single, I'm talking about those type of people that are, you know, maybe dating or in some type of situationship, as I call it, or friends with benefits type of situation. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do all the single signs first, seeing that I am single. So I got to give us single people some props here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with um, Aries first. Oops. So what we're going to be trying to figure out is what is going on with your relationship status for singles. And we're going to start with Aries. So what is going on with the relationship status for single Aries? I'm trying to do like three of each. If more falls out, then oops. Wow. I already got three right there. Actually, I'm going to put that. I'm going to try and get just three. All right. So we have love begins, discontent and boredom, and then spiritual strength. So for single Aries, um, Based on this, I kind of feel like maybe you're dating. You're dating several different people. So you don't have really one person in mind at this time. And you're kind of becoming bored of this situation of dating, getting the same results, not really going any further, like to the next step of being like in an actual relationship. So you're trying to remain spiritual and positive in this um, situation so that way that you can get the love that you deserve. I do feel that you will eventually get into a relationship. And this is, you know, of course, it could be any time frame. I'm not saying that you have to. But of course, love will begin for you eventually. I do feel like you have to date a lot of different people. And hold out to hope that you will find somebody that you find to be, you know, the best person that you ever have encountered, Aries. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and pull some energy. I like the way it's shuffling cards. I cannot shuffle cards just like I can't park. This seems like this will be kind of fun. I'm also going to keep this under 15 minutes because obviously, you know, YouTube doesn't want me to. Oh, wow. Well, I got all those. I actually got more than I wanted. So we have strategy and these are from the energy oracles. So we have strategy. We have woman holding a coin. We have broken heart. We have attachment. And we have walking away. So for single Aries, what I'm getting from this situation, um, because of the discontent and boredom that you're facing, I kind of feel like that's coming from you having a broken heart so maybe you've dated several different people everyone always thought that they were going to be the one and they always did something to break your heart after you've gotten attached to them so I feel that now you're starting to oh that's scary. you're starting to strategize and realize that if something's not what you want out of this dating situation that you're going to go ahead and walk away from it so you're not going to give energy to people that aren't actually 
um, in your best interest. Um, for this one, woman holding a coin, what I get from this is that either you are looking or seeking someone that is financially stable or the people that you're dating are looking to you because you are financially stable. So some it could be a situation where you just want someone to bring something to the table that you already have, or it could be that they're trying to get to you because you're financially stable and they're not. So that's probably why you continue to get your heart broken because you're getting people that aren't on that same level with you or as you. <clears throat> so let's see, let's wrap it up with the Romance Angel Oracles. I'm so, I'm excited about this one. I've been wanting these forever. I like the way they feel too. So this is for single Aries. Oracle cards only. Because sometimes you know you don't want to interpret the tarot cards. You just want the straight answer. And you can still, you know, find your story in this too. Alright, so let's see what the romance angel cards have to say. For single Aries. time is going to be spent. Let me take this one. All right, so we have make the effort. We have heart to heart conversations. Let me get one more. And, ooh, and we have deception. So single Aries, um, make the effort, say, says, oh my God, says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Oh, wow, I had another one I didn't see. Um, love yourself first was also in there. It was stuck. Okay, I have like all these cards stuck. <laughs> um. All right, so um, love yourself first is the next one. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, I got way too many cards stuck on here. Uh, let your friends help you <laughs> was also in there. Damn, they just keep surprising me with. All right. Ask for and accept support from others. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So for a single Aries, of course, you know, you're not in a relationship just yet. But like I said, you could be dealing with someone on a regular basis that just hasn't escalated to the next step. But what I'm getting from these um, romance angel oracles is that you first have to love yourself and get rid of those old family issues that you have so maybe you're a female who didn't have a father figure in their life or vice versa a male that didn't have a mother so you kind of went through life not knowing what to expect because you didn't give that you didn't get that support from the opposite sex that you were looking for as you grew up so you ended up getting into these situations and um kind of con 
continuing the same type of things that you were doing before and there's no results from it. Um, also, what I'm getting from this too is that you have to sometimes make the effort yourself. So if you're still dealing with issues that are in your relationship or that have been present in your um, life, you're not going to be able to move forward. So you do have to make that effort to con consciously make the change to want to do better. So that way you can have a prosperous relationship. Um, also, maybe communication has been an issue. So maybe in the future or if you have someone in mind, you want to maybe communicate with them about how the relationship's going, letting them know your feelings. Um, but you do want to be careful that you're not, you know, being a fake person or allowing fake people in your life and giving them too much information because, of course, when someone's deceptive, they'll do anything to get their way i think of them as like evil <laughs> so basically you just kind of have to watch who you communicate with what you tell them maybe you might tell people too much stuff about your personal life and they use it against you and that's how you end up getting your heart broken um that could be but um it is saying that you have no issues getting with someone you're attractive People flock to you, so it's not an issue of getting the people. It's more so of trying to keep them around, um, but only keep them around if they're beneficial to you and not somebody that's going to end up hurting you. So let me just get <clears throat> one overall message from the angels. And this is for single Aries, so just remember that everything I said is for people that are single, Aries that are single. All right, so we have hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So just reminding you that, you know, even if the people that you care about aren't in this earthly realm, they are there reminding you that you are a great person, that it's okay to date around and, you know, see where things go from there. But just learn some restraint. Um, learn to kind of, see the situation for what it is and be okay with walking away if it's not serving you so that is all for the single aries oracle reading um if you like what was discussed or you have any comments please make sure that you comment in the comment section below and don't forget to like so that way i can now let you enjoy it and I can do more of these.